This will likely be a short video, even by my standards, but I'd like to get some feedback if anyone has thoughts. Linux Mint Debian Edition is something I've been curious about for a while. I just installed version 6, codenamed Fay, on my laptop, and as expected, it's very easy and pleasant to use, like the regular Mint version. Any semi-regular visitors to this little channel may recall I made a Debian 6 video not too long ago. And while that's true, I have actually installed a couple of other distros since then. Most recently the Fedora KDE spin. That was fine, other than Wayland and KDE not seeming to play nice with Caden Live, which seemed odd. But, you know, your experience might be different, so don't get excited. I have admitted in the past that I'm an incorrigible distro hopper, and that continues to be the case. It's like a nervous tick. I don't know what the cure is unless it's more cowbell. So, the stated reason behind the Debian version of Linux Mint, or LMDE, is to ensure that Linux Mint can continue to deliver the same user experience if Ubuntu was ever to disappear. LMDE aims to be as similar as possible to Linux Mint but without using Ubuntu, since the package base is provided by Debian instead. LMDE offers the addition of the Cinnamon desktop and X apps curated by the Mint team, and is designed to provide the same functionality and look and feel as the Ubuntu-based editions of Linux Mint. That's all fine, but my natural instinct is to ask, but why, really? Do the folks at Mint know something we don't? I mean, I do see a bubbling resentment against Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu. Canonical is a privately owned company and founder Mark Shuttleworth has not always been a fan favorite among some Ubuntu product users. The resentment seems to stem from a few different factors. Ubuntu is both a community-driven project and a project of Canonical which can complicate the relationship between community contributors and the company. Some people may feel that Canonical has too much control over them, or that the company doesn't properly account for the needs of the community. Canonical is a privately held computer software company that markets commercial support and related services for Ubuntu and related products. Some people may feel that Canonical is too focused on making a profit, rather than on the values of the open source community. Mark Shuttleworth is the founder of Canonical and Ubuntu, and some people may take issue with his leadership style or decisions. For example, some former Ubuntu community team members have said that Shuttleworth no longer feels that investing in a community or desktop is a priority for Canonical. My personal feeling, and this is just some old guy on the internet, is that rather than being just a backup plan, I think Mint may be planning to drop Ubuntu as the base for their product at some future point. I mean, it seems to me they're putting quite a bit of effort into LMDE, considering it's portrayed as a kind of emergency backup solution if Ubuntu goes away. My sense is that they may be feeling a little uncomfortable that they are currently so intimately tied to and dependent on a company that has made some alienating decisions over the years. It's worth noting that, of course, not everyone feels negatively towards Canonical or Ubuntu, and that opinions in the matter are, of course, you know, largely subjective. So, am I barking up the wrong tree here, or does anyone else think that Mint may be quietly planning to bail on Ubuntu? Please comment below if you have any thoughts and check out the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.